We're not going to do that this year. Because here's the thing about saints. Doc and Wandine, you're still here with us. Bill and Sue, Eileen and Dorothy, Bakers, Feetsums. Are you not still alive? Are you not on a journey to the kingdom of God? So I want you to give me one good reason why you should not be considered a saint. And H, no matter what you give me, I will refute it. You all right, Trish? Okay, just want to make sure. I heard, I heard, I heard a pop, then I heard, ah. Oh. You're all saints. You're still living. Yes, there are some people who have completed the journey to the kingdom of God. And thank the Lord for that, that they are with God the Father in the kingdom. But yet you, everyone here, are still living and breathing saints to go out to show the world on who God is, of His love, of His glory, of His honor. This is not a day for mourning. No. It's a day of rejoicing. To remember the ones who went ahead of us, who loved us with the examples and the lessons. Yes, we may cry tears of sorrow and grieving. That's to be expected. And I'm not going, uh, I'm not going to downplay that. But one... <laughs> Especially what happened with uh, Emmett's funeral, sharing of all the good stories he left us. It's a joyous thing. So what I want you to do today, this is your week's homework, or two weeks' homework, since I'm not going to be here next week. I want you to take those saints in your lives. I want you to remember those lessons and those examples. I want you to take them, and I want you to go teach everyone else. Whether here in the church or outside of the church, teach them. Because you guys are living, breathing saints. You're not written, well, hold on, let me rephrase this. Your name is written in the book of life. But right now, your name's not in the newspaper, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to be sensitive on that topic. Tomorrow is All Saints Day, a day that we remember those in our lives, living or breathing, who had either completed the journey or were on the same journey as us. We're the final destination, and no, not the movie. Really, Fitzum, you didn't laugh at that? Where we're on the final destination of reaching the kingdom of God. We give thanks to the God for the saints in our lives. We, thank, we give thanks for the many blessings that we have received from them. And we give thanks for the sharing of the road with them on this journey to the kingdom of God. Amen. Excuse me. Our next hymn is I Love to Tell the Story. Oh, wow. I love when the plane accidentally comes together. I Love to Tell the Story. Hymn number 156. I love to tell the story of the seen things above of Jesus and his glory of Jesus and his love I love to tell the story because I know this true it satisfies my longings as nothing else can do. 
I love to tell the story. Twill be my theme in glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story this pleasant to repeat what seems each time I tell it more wonderfully sweet I love to tell the story for some have never heard the message of salvation from God's only word I love to tell the story Twill be my theme in glory To tell the old, old story Of Jesus and His love. <clears throat> My throat's going to get better, I promise. Uh, we're still not passing around the offering plates due to COVID, but as you're exiting the building, on both sides of the big double doors in the back, we got our plates. As you're walking... As you are walking out, you may place your tithes and offerings in either or of the plates. But uh, let's go to the prayer of dedication. Father God, thank you for these tithes and offerings that we're about to receive this day, Lord. Father God, we pray that they will bring honor and glory to you and to your kingdom, Lord. Father God, grant us the wisdom and guidance on how to best use these tithes and offerings so that they may bring honor and glory to you and to your kingdom, Lord. Father God, we praise you in your Son's name. Amen. Amen. Our final hymn of the service is, He Lives. So what? Oh, it just says, He Lives. Uh, hymn 364. Is it supposed to be because He Lives? Candace? Yeah. Because he lives. I put the wrong name down. I was just reading the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Pride 
and joy he gives but greater still the calm assurance this child can face and certain days because he lives because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know He holds the future and life is worth the living just because He Father God, thank you for this beautiful, wonderful day that you've given us to stay, Lord. Father God, I pray that as we depart from this building, Lord, that we will go out and love our neighbor as ourselves, Lord, so that it may not only bring honor and glory to you, but for your love and your glory to shine through us, Lord, to the people we love. Father God, continue to walk with us throughout the rest of our day, throughout the rest of our week, and throughout the rest of our lives, Lord. We praise in your Son's name. Amen.